Very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Damola is my name. I feel privileged being here today. Today is Sunday, beautiful Sunday. We've all come to celebrate with a cappella. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you. You know, there's something masters of ceremonies do at events. It's called audience analysis. We try to make sure that we have a personal rapport with our audiences most times when we speak. And that is why you hear things like, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, it is well with you. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, so, 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 and so. It's, it's very nice, actually. But some masters of ceremonies take it a step higher. And it now starts sounding like threat. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I'll be richer than you this year. It sounds good till you sit beside your landlord. A guy sat beside his landlord. Neighbor, I'll be richer than you this year. The alert he got was increment in rent, in rent whatever. <laughs> One guy sat beside his project supervisor. The MC said, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. He said, neighbor, I'll be more successful than you this year. Five years ago, he's still in chapter two. <laughs> yeah. I love this joke, I'll do it. I tell people that. Things are getting better here in Lagos, Nigeria. Gone are the days that you go to church on a Sunday morning, spend eight hours, nine hours, Sunday service. Nowadays, a full Sunday service, one hour, 30 minutes. One hour, 45 minutes. That's not even the best part of Sunday services for me. The best part of Sunday services for me is the way they recognize first timers. If you're a first timer in a Sunday service, the way they will appreciate you is different nowadays. They can give you different type of food. As a first timer, give you salad and ice cream. As a first timer, one hour, 30 minute service, they give you rice and fried fowl. Give you fish, fried egg, fried fowl, and boiled egg. As a first timer. There was a young man that came from his own town. The first time he went to on the Sunday morning. He sat at a strategic position. 8 a.m. sat is 9.45. The service was over. They gave him pizza, shawarma, and ice cream. <laughs> he went to another church the following Sunday. They gave him rice, fried fowl, and fried fish. <laughs> he went to another church the following Sunday. They gave him pizza, shawarma, jollof rice, fried rice, fried egg, and fried fowl. <laughs> then he started becoming a first timer for a living. That was what he was doing professionally. Yeah. He did not do his research when he entered the church. 8 a.m. service, he sat at a strategic position. Thinking business as usual, 9.45, the service will be over. I will take away back. Ladies and gentlemen, when it was 3.30, that was when they started preaching. When it was 6.30, they said, if you're a first timer, stand up. Aggressively, stood up. They said, follow Sister Nkechi to the back. Since then, Kiji said, you are welcome to our church. This is Brother Timothy. He will talk to you about discipleship. That one talk for one hour. This is Sister Stella. She will talk to you about mentorship. That one talk for one hour. This is Brother Colinius. He will talk to you about stewardship. That one talk for one hour. When it was around 9.30, his eyes were red. He had not eaten from his house. The only motivation he had was the takeaway pack he was looking at in front of him. He said, at the end of the day, we'll go home with something. Ladies and gentlemen, when it was 10.30, he said, thank you for coming to our church. They gave him the takeaway pack. It was very heavy. He did not open it. The church is somewhere around the Korodu. He lives around Fadeyi. The guy trekked from the Korodu to Maryland. He used Maruwa to complete the journey. By the time he got home, he sat on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, when he opened the takeaway pack, he saw 16 CDs of messages. 24 magazines of messages. The only table thing there was one tom tom. From that day, he started attending online services. Put your hands together for yourself. Please. If there is any profession I love, I love the medical profession. If you are a doctor, that title is prestigious. I appreciated it more when I went for NYSC so many years ago. So many years ago. Like three years ago. I discovered that all the doctors that were coppers, were giving preferential treatment. They did not stress them. But people like myself that studied the likes of political science, geography, 
aquaculture and fisheries, BSC soil, BSC forest and forest management. They treated us as if we did not go to school. And it was very painful. All the, all the doctors had a doctor on duty tag on them, so they did not wake up for 30 a.m. But people like myself, they used to stress us anyhow. I decided to do something about it. I discovered that all the doctors had a doctor on duty tag on them. So I decided to type my own by myself. I typed doctor on duty. I put it on my neck. I was walking sluggishly. The soldier saw me and said, hey, double up, you know if you're wrong. I said, I'm a doctor. I studied political science. I said, I'm a doctor. He said, you, doctor. I said, yes, I'm a doctor. I've never seen the clinic before. I said, I always go. When they lifted the hand, I saw the slap of a soldier coming towards my face. He said, what type of doctor are you? I said, I'm a native doctor. <laughs> doctor is doctor. The most important thing is what is in front. Mm. I tell people all the time that there's a big difference between crutch and daycare. When I'm done with this joke, you will know the one you went to. In a daycare, the system is different from what we have in a crutch. In a crutch, all the children are always on, they're not under pressure. They will do puff, puff hair with pink ribbon. They will wear gown. They have flower hair and two ropes at the back. All the children are always fine. TV screens everywhere. Flowers everywhere. The children are not under pressure. When mommy drops the child at the gate of the, at the, gate of the crutch, hello baby, you're at your crutch now. The child will look at mommy and say, mom. And the child will go and meet one auntie that is waiting for her to receive her at the door. Daycare. When you get there, all the children always look alike. Because all of them are on Gorimapa. They lapa lapa on their head, you can calculate the circumference. All of them will not do, they will not have different types of Gorimapa with different types of lapa lapa and Nekusa. They will not put dust in powder from head to toe. All of them will not look like idol. By the time you get into the crutch, the first the daycare, the first man that comes to you is Isaiah. The mother and the child will be on bike. The mother will just say the child, Oyabole. One year old child. The child will not want to come down. The mother will come down from the bike, bring down the child, and start pulling the child, pulling mother, child, mother, child, mother, child. The mama in charge of all the children will hold on go. And she'll be watching the relationship between mother and child. She will not say anything. As mother and child are struggling with each other, by the time they just get to the front, she just look at the mother and the child. Mommy, and yeah, my long thing. Immediately she says that they are launching the child into another level of greatness. You see all the child. Thank you very much. Double my name. God bless you.